Welcome Sagittarius. This is Renee. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so very much. Please keep hitting that subscribe button and the like. And please comment below. I'd love to hear your messages. Sagittarius, this is going to be your love reading for January 1st through the 15th. What's coming through for Sagittarius? Sag, we're going to take a look at your current energy. Uh, we're going to take a look at what's coming in for you. We're also going to take a look at your person and any challenges that you may face. And then uh, lastly, we're gonna take a look at any advice that we have for you. Okay, Sag, let's get into it. We're gonna do some Oracle cards first to see about your current energy. And then we're gonna get into some, to some tarot. What's going on with Sag? Listen deeply. And you have, take a step back. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have healing energy. Okay, Sag. So, I believe what's going on with you is that I believe you're currently with the person, um, and I believe that you're kind of going through conflicts at the moment. I feel like you are needing to take a step back, maybe take a breather. Um, I feel like you need to catch hold of your emotions before they get out of control, before they're hard to control. But I, I really feel like you're going through a, a tough time, Sagittarius, and it may be due to this person that you're with. Um, just, you know, arguments, bickering, not able to see eye to eye. And it may be over financial issues or family issues or gossip that's what I'm feeling for a very few of you I feel like someone is in your person's ear someone's in your person's ear feeding them information and it may be totally wrong information It may have nothing to do with you. I'm sorry, I'm walking around here because I'm dropping cards. Yeah, you have the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands. So yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of fiery debate going on, you know? I feel like you're you're feeling very overwhelmed, burdened. You're carrying a lot on your shoulders, Sagittarius. You're trying to work through it though. Yeah, you have the five of pentacles. You're trying to work through it. But you're feeling a little left out. You're feeling like they're your person's not seeing eye to eye with you like there's no compromise um, but you have the ace of pentacles here so i feel like it's going to come to a head definitely yeah 
Yeah, have, have patience, Sagittarius. If you feel like this situation is getting too strong, too out of control, you know, find a, a safe spot or whatever, you know. Um, but I feel like all of this conflict, all this bickering, the arguing, it's going to, it's going to all end. There's going to be a new beginning. Yeah, you're going to make up. This person is very sorry for the things they said. Yeah, you're going to get an apology. Definitely. You have the Empress on the bottom. So definitely, definitely Sagittarius. I feel like, well, you know, whatever's going on in the beginning here, I feel like this energy, it starts out really strong. It starts out really fiery, really passionate. You may be arguing. There may be conflict. You feel kind of left out, withdrawn. Um, not appreciated. Not cared for the way you should. But I feel like, you know, this person, this person is coming to you with an apology. They, they want to make things right with you. They definitely want to make things right. They want to bring some resolution to the situation. So, you know, where, where you thought maybe things were kind of really rocky and like a roller coaster it finally calms down and comes to a understanding so there is compromise there is a a happy ending to this situation and i feel like this happy ending is actually a new beginning because i feel like this person kind of sees where they went wrong in the situation and that's why I said they, they're wanting to apologize. They're wanting to take back a lot of things that they've said, a lot of choices that they made, you know. So the, this is definitely someone that you're in a relationship with now. Um, it may be an ex coming back into your life that you had a lot of conflict with. Uh, maybe you had tried to... Um, leave from the situation but I feel like they've made a decision that you are what inspires them to love you are what inspires them to just focus on what's important and I feel like this person's total focus is you. They made the choice. Their total focus is you, Sagittarius. And they're making it clear with this Two of Cups energy and this Page of Wands. They want to give you an, an apology. And they want to make things right. They want your love again. They want your trust again. They want to take back whatever it is that they said or whatever it is that they did. They want to take it back and resolve the situation. They feel like you're worth it. They feel like you are their empress, Sagittarius. You're their queen, their abundance. You may have a family with this person. You may have children with this person. But I feel like this person doesn't feel complete without you near them, if that makes sense. This person doesn't feel complete. They want to start over.
with this page of Pentacles, oh, excuse me, this Ace of Pentacles, they definitely want a new beginning with you. They want to bring out the truth. They want to show you how loyal they are, how reliable they can be. They want to look at the future with you. They're making choices. They're making plans. But they're looking towards the future. They want to create something special with you. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands. They're lowering their defenses. They're lowering down their guard. Because they feel that they know that they were wrong. They know that they were wrong. And that's the reason why they want to apologize. And you have the Page of Wands again. Definitely. You're going to hear an apology. And I feel like this person want, who wants to apologize, they also want to... begin a new passionate phase with you. Like I said, this person, you may have children with them, but I feel like this person may want more children. If you don't have children, I feel like this person does want children. This person wants to create a family with you. They want a passionate new beginning. You see how this person, for this two of wands, he's taken her in in his arms very passionately and just holding her and that that that's how i feel here i feel like this person wants to embrace you with you know their apology with their embrace with their sorrow for the situation i feel like this person wants to embrace you they want to take you in their arms yet you have the empress again definitely this is mothering energy so definitely this person may want to have children with you and you have the king of swords on the bottom so this person wants to be supportive they want to show you how supportive they can be how you know uh truthful and honest it, it may be that they weren't honest with you that may be what caused the conflict but i feel like this person wants to show you how what kind of person they can be that they want to live up to what you want in a person they want to live up to what you need to fulfill your needs they want to take care of your day-to-day -day needs as well as your physical and emotional needs. What advice do we have for Sagittarius? What advice do we have for Sagittarius to get through this challenge? To get through any challenges in love? What advice do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah, I feel like a year from now, you're going to be very happy. A lot of happiness is going to come to you um, in the next year. And actually, I feel like in the next year, this could be life changing. Like I said, I feel like this person wants to have a family with you. This person wants to create something very special with you. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Along with improving this relationship, I believe that you're you're improving your health as well. You know, when when you're depressed and when you're fighting, you're you're constantly. I mean, I, I feel like it lowers your immune system. It you know you catch colds. Your blood pressure goes up. Your you know um, it can cause all kinds of ailments. But I believe with this happiness coming through for you, I believe that you are improving your health. 
and definitely this situation is gonna need communication clear communication um, relaying your needs your wants but yes Sagittarius within the next few weeks I believe that you're gonna see a change you're definitely going to see a change. You're definitely going to see a turnaround in your situation. Um, I believe that in the next few weeks, you may even find that, and this is for some of you, not all of you, but with the two Empress cards coming out, in the next few weeks, you may find out that you're pregnant. You may find out that you're starting to have a family. Definitely. Wow. What advice do we have from the angels? We have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear definitely Sagittarius and I feel like if it is a family that you want a family is definitely what you're gonna get and you also have Chantel new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love definitely and I feel like a lot of love is coming through your situation right now your person is kind of heartbroken um, I'm not quite sure what the situation is what the conflict is in your relationship but I feel like this person is very sorry they're very sorry that they put you through what they did and they're trying to make it up to you very badly but they are they are trying Spirit, let me know about this person. Tell me more about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, Sagittarius, I feel like you feel like this is the one like you're not really sure why it's taking the turn that it did um but i feel like it's it's taking a complete u-turn it's going back to the situation that that you thought it was this is just one of those bumps in the road where you know every relationship has them um there's always going to be conflict. There's always going to be arguing. There's always going to be making up with a person if you stick it out. If you work on your relationship, you're, you're always going to have those high ups and those low downs. Always. There's just no way around it. That's just how relationships build and grow is by going through those motions going through the tough times and coming out the other side. Yeah, they, they definitely want to end the situation. They want to start a, a new beginning. You have the coffee card. Yeah, they definitely want to have a new beginning with you. You have Cupid's arrow at the bottom. So I'm, I'm definitely feeling like this person is really feeling the same way you do you feel like this person has the key to your heart well this person feels like you're cupid's arrow that struck them straight in the heart so i mean they feel the same way you do so i really feel like this relationship is gonna take a turn for the better it's gonna it's gonna blossom is definitely going to blossom. Let me get Let me get two more cards for a 
overall outcome. I want some more clarity, Sagittarius. Yeah, temperance, healing. This relationship that you're going through is going through healing. I feel like this person is not going to give up on you and you're not going to give up on this person. This relationship is going through healing and balance. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. I know it's not a phoenix, it's a dove, but I feel like this is emerging from this cup for a reason. You know? Yeah, success. The Six of Wands. So not only do you have healing, but this is going to be very recognized. And when I say recognized, I mean this person wants you to be recognized as theirs. They, they may provide you with a ring. They may propose. They may pop the question. They may ask you to be their spouse. Because... <clears throat> They want you to be seen as theirs. Not something like property, but something that deals with the heart. You know, I don't see controlling energy here. I see that this person wants to view you. I, f I feel like they, they want you to be recognized as their spouse as their other half as their better half you know and i feel like this relationship is not only going to go through healing it's going to be very successful it's gonna flourish that's the word i was looking for it's going to flourish okay sagittarius that is what i have for you if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And Sagittarius, by next year, I feel like your whole life is going to change. There's definitely a baby here someplace. So if you're not looking to get pregnant, take precautions because I believe this person wants a family and I believe that within the next couple weeks you're going to find out if you're going to have one okay Sagittarius make sure to like and comment in the comment section love to hear your comments many blessings to you love and light